Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Prophet Pastor Ron. I greet you. I greet you again. My thousands of followers, thousands of sons and daughters all over the world. I greet you. I'm coming again with a powerful, a powerful, a powerful message, a powerful prophetic message that I gave. This just want to show you some of the indication of what happened, what I prophesied about what is happening. In the beginning of the year, I said this year is going to be a year of the Shekinah glory. I said you're going to see the physical and the visible manifestation of God. And when I gave that prophecy, let me get my phone. And when I gave that prophecy, I was talking about things that are soon going to happen that is going to shake the world. And I said, when you look at the sky, things are going to happen. I said, you see manifestations of things in the sky. I said, you see manifestations of things in the air, things in the waters, things in the land, that you see things that people have never seen before, that are manifesting. And I spoke to my sons and daughters, I said, just begin to watch, you begin to see those things will happen. The physical manifestation of the things of God. And some more things have happened. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, handkerchief and aprons were taken from the body and Paul and Peter. When they were placed on the sick, the sick became healed. Handkerchief and aprons, they had no life. But when they touched the body of Paul and Peter, they took those handkerchiefs and they placed on sick people, sick people became healed. I've got an anointed bit here. This black anointed bit of 2022. You show me a private prophetic one-on-one -on -one with me. What is a private one-on-one? -on -one? Private one-on-one -on -one means I will prophesy to you privately, meaning not publicly, privately, just me and you and God, the three of us. That number three is important. That's why the seed for the private one-on-one, -on -one, the seed to sow, is 300 dollars, 300 pounds, 300 euros. If you are in South Africa, 3,000 rands. If you are in Botswana, 3,000 pullers. The number three is the number of governors. The Bible said that three people that govern you in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they govern the entire heaven. The governors, meaning that number of three is a number of governors. If you share, so your three hundred dollar seats, I will send this to you. My personal anointed business, God, I will remove it from my hand. I'm the only prophet that removed my personal anointed business. That's my personal power with my anointing. And I sent you. I'm a prophet with the eye of the scorpion. I'm a morning day prophet. The anointing that I have will begin to start manifesting in your life. Those of you that want to see things, you want to see angels, you want to see things in the spirit. So my daughter, one of my daughter, that word is, saw angels, saw the handwriting of angels in the sky. And I was prophesying, I said, they're going to begin to see those things just the way I used to see them. They're going to see. In broad daylight. I'll show you what she saw. It's going to happen. Make sure you watch to the end. Watch this to the end. I also send this my book. Prophecy, Dreams, and Vision of 2022. It's got prophecies of every country. Every country. On earth. Every country. Every continent. Every nation I've made sure I prophesied. So the nation I prophesied under a group like Europe, the European Union. I prophesied all of what's going to happen. What is happening now with Ukraine? I prophesied. What has happened to China now? I prophesied. What is going to happen? What has happened to the US now with Joe Biden? I prophesied this. Everything has been in this book. Did the prophecy was going to happen in your country? In Nigeria, in Jamaica, in South Africa, is here. Botswana, Lesotho, all those countries are here. And then I'm also going to, I've also put a space here. When you share your one on one, there's a space for you with your name where I will write down your prophecy. Personal prophecy, I write it down and I send it to you. And I send it to your life and I'll be the same again. This is the eye of the scorpion. And the only prophet has got that gift of the eye of the scorpion. The eye of the scorpion means the one that sees the invisible. You share the, the private prophetic one on one, I'll send it to you. you WhatsApp me, this is my number, my number on the screen. You WhatsApp me, my contact. You can see the links there, you can contact me. I said, Man of God, I want to show the private one on one. I want to sow this. You can sow through PayPal, you can sow through West Union, you can sow through MoneyGram. I also send this book, Dating, Marriage, Intimacy. Those are my gifts to you for those that share the private one on one with me. I'll send it to you. Make sure you watch this to the end. You watch this until the end because this is the end. I'm going to show you the one of the most powerful, powerful manifestations that I saw. It's in the end of the video. First, I want to show you this one man when I saw what is happening. I told you, I saw the manifestation of things are going to begin to happen. One of my daughters, she sent me that video. I'll show you. But one thing has already happened, one sign has already shown. One sign has already shown is now the news is reporting this. A volcanic eruption that happened in a, in a nation called Tonga. Tonga. An eruption that I've never seen before. It shut down the whole country for about up to today. They don't have electric, uh, electricity. They don't have internet. The eruption happened underwater. And then it created a tsunami. That is like five, 500 feet. It's like five story building high. Meaning the tsunami that was created was so big and the eruption was so massive that it shut down the the power system, it shut down the internet, 
it shut down the water supply system in this country called Tonga. And up, you see that video. You're still trying to figure it's, out. And that you open that video, you see. So what you see, you will appear on your screen. It's, this is like people have not seen before. This is a first manifestation of Professor said there are going to be many of these coming. Because as it's the year of the Shekinah glory, you see the explosion, the volcanic explosion that exploded underwater. The world has never seen volcanic that came out of underwater. And then it creates tsunamis. That tsunami that has created is like five story building high. And the people in Tonga don't have internet. They don't have food, they don't have water. It shut down everything. That's, I told you about something that's called the Shekinah glory. I said, but the darkness will be darker because as the Shekinah glory of God, there's also Shekinah demons. Some of you don't know the Shekinah demons, meaning those principalities and powers also will start to manifest physically to fight them because they know Jesus is coming very soon. So you'll be seeing some of this manifestation. I told you in the sky, you'll be seeing physical manifestation. You see like this Tonga. In Tonga, the ash, only the ash that is coming from this place up, it's creating sickness and it's making the sun not to shine properly because it's blocking sunlight. Ash from the volcanic explosion. In a small country called Tonga. You've seen that video. It's a small country. You see that video. Yes. This is a, this is a serious, serious explosion. Volcanic eruption. These are things are spirit. And you see the tsunami. Tsunamis and how the water is the sea is just everywhere. Water is everywhere. And this is a very small, tiny country. And I said, with some signs in this 2022, this is a year of the Shekinah glory. I mean, God will physically manifest His presence. But demons also physically manifest their presence also in this world. You see that video. Now, the second thing of video I want to show, make sure you watch the end because the big one, the big manifestation is coming. The big manifestation is coming to watch the end. Because the end, I'll show you that, that big manifestation. Make sure you watch the end. Make sure those of you don't watch something for one one. Make sure you watch something for one one because Jesus is coming very soon. And I prophesy, I said that Jesus is coming very soon. I don't know how soon, but very, very soon because there's no other sign that I see that's supposed to happen before he comes. The prophet Elijah, which was prophet TB Joshua, so they gone to heaven. Jesus is coming back. And he always comes back in the month. The first month of the first year, which is the month of Nisan, the Hebrew month of Nisan. The first month of the first year, the first month of the Hebrew calendar is the month of Nisan. That month usually starts on the 20th of March. The 20th of March, around that month of March, we don't know. But make sure you see one on one seed, one on one me, you and God. I will send you this anointed bits. You need to see. The things that are prophesied are coming to pass exactly. Another thing that happened, that I prophesied, I said, my daughters, my sons and daughters are waiting to be, they'll begin to see. Physical, like physical beings, will manifest with. Let me show you. One of my daughters from the US that she got anointed with a central anointed bit two weeks ago. She was lying. She was lying in the house. All of a sudden, she saw angels writing on the sky. Angels. Oh, show. Sure. She took. She was in a house. She was sitting on a house. Then she looked up on the sky. This is my daughter, Jenna, in the US. She saw angels that were writing on, in the sky. She took a phone and she took a photo when they were writing. When she saw what they were writing, she finished. You see what they were writing. She took a photo. You see that photo. And you see. And she looked this in the house, looking up to the sky. She saw the angels that wrote the word Jesus. Jesus on this in the sky, angels. In in the afternoon. Physical manifestation. You see that photo you see the right way. If you look, you see the right way. Jesus. One of my daughters, what word anointed bits. And I said, those of you where you will see visions, things with your physical eyes. Some of you see in dreams. But some of you start seeing the physical manifestation. She saw, she sent this to me after she said it. She was she was she was, it was shocking. She said she had never seen something like a, a vis angel visited a person like that. Like they come to her in front of her back in the air, the sky where she could see. And other people were there. And she saw, you could see, the angels wrote the word Jesus in the sky. 
I mean, it left. Physical, physical manifestation. I told you, the Shekinah glory, you will see things. You see things. Those of you that have missed some anointed, but 2022, the one for 2022 is very powerful. This one is more, is powerful because it's got the Shekinah anointing that will make you to see. I'll show you the last one. The last one, one of my daughters, so they sent to me. This one is something flying in the sky. She captured a video of something flying in the sky. I don't know what is this thing flying. Because I also know the planets that were destroyed. And it's possible that these planets that were destroyed also had, also had people that fled. It's just like the days of Noah. The Bible says in the days of Noah, Noah also took Bill and Ark and ran away. Because the earth was being destroyed. And they ran. But some, some, some other planets, the people that were there were so highly technologically advanced that they could move across space from one planet to the other planet. It's like somebody saying the earth is being destroyed, the person runs to Mars. Those are those people that they call them. They, they, they have something that they call UFOs. Those are like identifiable flyers. I mean, you, you don't know where it's coming from. But there are people that fled the destruction because this earth that you see is a sixth, number six of God's creation. God created planets and destroyed them. Just the way he destroyed the planets. He wanted to destroy the earth. He can destroy the planets with using the earth. Remember, when the world was created, there was earth, there was water, there was air, and there was fire. Those are the three, the four things that were used to create the, 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 the universe. The earth, there is water, there is air, there is fire. That's what the Bible says. In the beginning, when God created heavens and the earth, he said the world was without form and void, meaning the world was so soaked in water, it becomes a muddy blob thing. And the Bible says, and water was of top the face of the deep and the spirit of god hovered on top of that water so the spirit of god is the air the air part there was fire around it that's how this earth was created those four elements are the thing that he used to destroy them can you see earth that's why the bible says sometimes you open the earth and he swallows people in the earth that's how you can destroy the whole earth you can open this earth at least and everybody gets swallowed in and it wraps it and close it he can use water like in the days of noah he can use flood to wipe off the whole earth if the creation doesn't make God happy, he can use air. He can suck out the atmosphere. If this atmosphere you see of the earth is sucked out, everything will vanish. The sun will burn everything. Because the ozone layer is protecting us from the heat of the sun and it's protecting us from being destroyed. But God can, when God, the other planets that God destroyed, sometimes the planets, he took out the air. He sucked out the, the atmosphere. There was, no, there was no air. The atmosphere was gone. The sun burnt it and dried everything. The other thing you can use is fire to destroy. The Bible says in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, there was fire that came from heaven. Big, big fire. The Bible says it was so big, it destroyed the entire Sodom and Gomorrah in one night. It can rain fire, big hailstone, big hailstone. A hailstone that is one hailstone, the size of a stadium. 50 miles long hailstone, pig. So this last one I want to show you this video. You see this thing flying, this object flying on top of houses. And nobody knows where it's coming from. Nobody knows where it's going to. Nobody knows who, who, who are these things. What is it? But it's, you can see it flying. And it showed, showed me this. You see, and I said, this, this things the, the last day, this was going to happen. The Shekinah glory, things are going to be flying in the sky. You see the things flying, you see. Flying, flying, flying. And then looking in the sky, they wonder, what is this? What kind of thing is this? That's flying. Pray for you. Make sure that one one I'm out of time. God bless you. God multiply you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.